Hi, I'm Mike from Thoravox, and right now I want to show you the new Thoravox expression pedal. Um, we designed this specifically to be used with the ET4 series of continuous pitch analog instruments. Um, all three of our models, the ET4.1, 4.2, and 4.3, have an expression pedal jack that is wired directly to the filter cutoff frequency. And the ET4.3 that I have here has a second expression pedal input jack that can be mapped to a few different cool things as well. So I'm going to get to that later. But right now I'm just going to show you how to use the pedal to change the filter cutoff frequency while you're playing the instrument. Because typically while you're playing the ET4, your right hand is inside the ring and you're controlling the pitch with it and your left hand's occupied by creating amplitude envelopes with the intensity keys for each of the two analog oscillators. So you really have no ability to change the filter kind of frequency while you're playing, even though it is controlled by a knob on the front panel. But plugging in our expression pedal allows you to control that with your foot at the same time. So it brings a whole new dimension of expression to the instrument, allowing you to change the timbre of the sound as you're playing. And um, you clamp down on that, um, that internal um, filter and kind of make it sound mellow and then open it up by putting your foot forward on the pedal and kind of um, making the sound bright and aggressive or whatever you want it to be. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the expression pedal into the expression pedal jack that goes directly to the filter cutoff frequency. So with the, with the heel all the way down on the pedal, the filter cutoff knob controls what that should sound like. So right now it's not making any sound because the filter is completely cut off. So I'm going to open that up a little bit to get a little bit of sound. And now if I move the pedal forward, it will open up the filter. Now the knob on the pedal controls the sound at the toe forward position and allows you to set the extremity of that range. So I can dial that in to how far I want the pedal to swing. Typically you want to set it to be able to get the full range of the sound. So heel all the way down is just barely making noise and toe all the way forward has the filter wide open and all the frequencies are coming through. So I'm just going to demonstrate some playing with the, with the pedal connected. ET4.3, I'm going to plug the expression pedal into the ESP1 jack. And this expression pedal jack can be mapped to four different settings on the front panel. Um, the first one is one and two pitch, and that's an input that allows the expression pedal to change the pitch of both oscillators at the same time if you want. Um, right now I have it set to two pitch, which allows the foot pedal to control the pitch of oscillator 2 only. So if you want to use the pedal to raise oscillator 2's pitch uh, a third or a fifth by moving the pedal forward, you can set that up with the knob on the side of the pedal itself. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, if you turn the attenuator all the way down so it makes no difference to the pitch at all, uh, you can then you can then put it in the toe forward position and move this knob up to the to the interval that you want to, to get to when your toe is all the way forward.
But another cool thing you could do, because this is controlling the pitch to oscillator 2 only, is use the ring to oscillator 2 button, which it discon if you turn that off, that disconnects the ring from controlling the pitch of oscillator 2. So the pitch of oscillator 2 no longer moves with the ring, which means it's controlled entirely by the pedal. Okay, so oscillator 2 has been disconnected from the ring. So if I turn that up, um, see it's not, it's not making any differences in pitch, um, but the pedal is still controlling it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the lower range to a note, and I'm gonna set the upper range to a note using a tuner plugged into the tuner output of the 4.3. ET 4.3 only is set this expression pedal to control the pulse width of the square waves on oscillator 2. Um, so what I've done is I've set it to one of the pulse waves and um, the pedal's plugged in and the attenuator is all the way up so uh, the pedal produces the full range so I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Now it disappears at the end because you're narrowing this pulse width, this pulse wave until it disappears. Um, so the pedal travel is too far, but because it has the knob on the side, you can adjust that so the pedal travel fits the range that you want it to be. So I'm going to put it all the way up and I'm going to dial the, the knob back until I get to the sound that I want. So it sounds still there. Nope. So now the pedal will um, modify the width of that pulse um, completely. Uh, the last thing that the expression pedal can be set to on the ET 4.3 is the gain of oscillator 1 and 2. So this allows you to use the foot pedal to change the volume of both the oscillators in unison instead of using the intensity keys. And this is real helpful for people that want to be twiddling knobs at the same time, or maybe they have their hands on another instrument. Um, this is a feature that's been requested by several of the customers. Um, so this is it implemented. So the easiest way to do it is to have the, um, the attenuator knob all the way forward for the full range. And um, the hold keys on the ET 4.3 and now set the lower limit. So you want to dial those in just until you start, just before you start hearing some sound. Um, and you can change the levels between the two. So oscillator one and two, when they're modified, they're in a different ratio to each other. So they're not always of equal volume. You can have one set lower than the other. So while you only have one pedal to control the overall volume, you can use the two hold keys to change the mix that you want if you want more of oscillator one or more of oscillator two. So, so that's it, that's the basics of the expression pedal, the new Thurvox expression pedal. And um, it's available on the Thurvox site, so check out thurvox.com and um, there's some more videos there and uh, have a good one.